Hey everybody, and thanks for clicking on this video and checking out my channel, and join me for another MCU review. Leading up to Avengers Endgame, I've been going through all the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies in preparation for the big event. And we are now at Black Panther. If you'd like to talk about this movie with me, I welcome you to do so, and I'd love for you to do so. Just comment all your thoughts and opinions about the movie down in the comment section below, and let's get a fun conversation going. And with all that out of the way, let's talk about the 18th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Black Panther. Directed by Ryan Coogler. T'Challa, portrayed by Chadwick Boseman, fresh off a of civil war, returns to his home of Wakanda to take his place as king. When a new threat to Wakanda arrives in Killmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan, T'Challa must suit up as the Black Panther to protect his people. So starting off talking with T'Challa himself, Chadwick Boseman's portrayal as T'Challa is great. He's got such a commanding presence on screen, he really gives off the sense of authority, and he's one of the most straight-faced characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But he still is able to have a crip or two in there, making him a very likable and an enjoyable character. And his relationship with his sister Shiri, played by Letitia Wright, is so good. Their chemistry together is so amazing. I love these two actors together as siblings. The way that they banter with each other and just the way the characters interact totally comes off as a sibling relationship. And I just love the way the sibling relationship in this movie with T'Challa and Shiri is portrayed with these characters. And I love the character of Shiri by Letitia Wright. She is so good as Shiri. She's so snarky and sarcastic. And she's got kind of an attitude to her that just kind of makes this character really strong and gives her a great edge. I really like how in-depth they go with T'Challa and his fears and hesitations to be king of Wakanda. And the movie brings a really interesting idea that's played throughout the entire narrative of whether or not Wakanda should share their resources with the world. Because Wakanda is actually the most advanced civilization in the world, but they hide themselves. They mask their world as a third world country that's actually in poverty and struggling. And all of their advanced technology and science is hidden to the world and it's kept a secret. And really the question that this movie asks is if Wakanda should stay a secret or if it should share its resources and all of its secrets with the world. And that idea kind of gets embodied with the villains in this movie. The villains of the movie are Killmonger, portrayed by Michael B. Jordan, and he's partnered up with Claw, portrayed by Andy Serkis, who they brought back from Age of Ultron. And Andy Serkis in this movie and in the role of Claw is so much fun. He is just having a ball with this character. You can tell Andy Serkis is just having the time of his life playing this character. He is such a fun screen presence. Every scene that he is in, he just steals the movie for me. He is so good in this character. And honestly, I wish that they used Andy Serkis as Claw in this movie a little bit more. I wish he has kind of had a bigger role to play. I really liked this character. I really liked Andy Serkis' portrayal and his performance. And I really wish that there was more of him in this universe. But he's working to slide Michael B. Jordan's character, Killmonger. Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger is one of the best villains in the MCU. And Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger really overshadows everybody else's performance in this movie. Even Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa. He takes that idea of whether or not Wakanda should share its resources or not and he kind of embodies it in the extremist kind of way. Because he's a Wakandian who feels like he's been abandoned and left behind by Wakanda. And because of that his motivations in this movie are really fueled by hatred and anger for Wakanda. And he wants to use Wakanda's resources, basically make Wakanda at the top of the food chain of the world. He wants to take over the world with Wakanda because he feels there are people like him that are being kicked around by life and Wakanda can help them. He's angry that Wakanda wasn't there to help him. So he wants to use Wakanda to help those that were like him. But he wants to do it in such an extremist way. And he wants to use Wakanda's advanced resources and technology in order to execute his plan. And he's got such a great motivation. Michael B. Jordan makes his character really relatable and he plays the character in really a sympathetic kind of way. This character is human. He's not a completely evil guy. His motivations all come from the hurt and the rejection that he's felt through life. And for that reason and the performance that Michael B. Jordan gives to this character, he's one of the most sympathetic villains since Loki in the first Thor movie. But even though I feel Michael B. Jordan overshadows everybody else's performance and characters in this movie, there is one other character that overshadows them all, and that is the character of Wakanda. Wakanda in this movie is really its own character. The way that they build this world, it makes it feel really fleshed out, and they make Wakanda feel like a real place. They give it such a culture with all its traditions and customs. They have their own dialect, they have their own traditions that you really get to see in this world. And with the advanced technology, they still make it feel familiar enough that it feels like it's a real place. It makes Wakanda feel very believable, and what they did with Wakanda in this movie is just fantastic. I love what they did with Wakanda. I love how much they go into Wakanda, how in-depth they go into Wakanda, and just how much Wakanda really gets to breathe and be fleshed out in this movie. And in the end, I just really like Black Panther. I like the ideas that it brings to it. I like the world that they built. I like the characters. The story is really good. It's got a great villain. It has resonated a lot with a lot of people and in pulp culture, and I can definitely see why. It's a great addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say about Black Panther today, but what did you think about Black Panther? Comment down below. Let me know. I want to know all your thoughts and opinions about this movie. 
Guys, Endgame is only three days away. We are so close to it. We're almost done the MCU. If you'd like to join me talking about the last two films in the MCU, I welcome you to do so, and I'd love for you to do so. And I'm going to be back talking about them very soon. Guys, thanks again for clicking on this video and checking out my channel. Once again, my name is Zachary Milne. Thank you for talking movies with me, and I hope you have yourself a great day.